What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today we are going to look at the new Fanatic uh, Club Sport. This is the Steering Wheel F1 2018 Limited Edition. Let's take a look at it. Just got it in the other day, and just now getting uh, a chance to check it out. Here, I got it right before Christmas. I hope y'all all had a great Christmas. But uh, I don't normally do unboxings because they waste time, but Fanatic does actually have a nice little you know, it's always interesting to see what they're going to put on their box. So, I am an artiste. The track is my canvas. Uh, and the car is my brush. Boom, do you like that? Alright, so you get your quick guide. Normal stuff. You get your buttons here. Uh, typical if you've already had some of the later uh, uh, products from Fanatic as far as wheels go. Uh, they give these little buttons here that you can uh, customize the wheel buttons the way you like it. Then, of course, this always comes wrapped up nicely. Empty box, some silicone. We'll get this out of the way. Comes in a nice fanatic bag. I already looked at it. Because <laughs> I couldn't wait to do a video to not look at it. Boom. Look at that. This thing is beautiful. So this is all carbon fiber design. This is true Italian Alcantara uh, leather here. Feels really good. The button placements on this is really nice. So two rotary dolls. You got three buttons up here. Two here. You can hear them. I really like how they do buttons on the Fanatic stuff. They always do it right. Uh, see this this toggle seems a tad lazy to me like it hangs down just a little too much It's more travel that way than it is this way So I have to keep an eye on that. It does push button in Does not turn this is kind of really more used for like your mouse control if you wanted to But you can obviously assign this to anything push in up down uh, You know left right down so I'll get that in focus there uh, These are the rotary dials of course and they are infinitely turning except for this middle one of course set your uh, parameters here as far as your modes go if you're used to seeing the McLaren uh, wheel that I have uh, same same concept here uh, same here infinite dolls here you got your three buttons on the bottom you got your other toggle switch this one actually rotary encoder so you know brake bias front brake bias rear however you want to do it up down side side to side and of course you got the lights here now I race in VR most of the time so the lights are not gonna make a difference to me uh, but uh, I think it looks cool though because when I don't race in VR say like automobile ballista or something like that um, uh, say uh, what Forza franchise and stuff you know you get all the lights and stuff so pretty good Nice OLED display there. Small, real small actually, I think. I think it would be nice if it was uh, about three times the size. Fill in this whole area with OLED. That would be really cool. That would be a nice adder there. But uh, yeah, it's a little small. This one actually does come with, um, oh, and then of course you got these two toggle switches here. I generally use these for traction control and ABS control myself. We'll flip it on over to the back, and you do have the uh, pedal shifters. Same as before. Nice, nice, uh, nice feel to them. Nice tactile feel to them. So they feel good. You know, the Fanatic uh, um, steering wheels and stuff are just always top notch the way they're made and stuff. They. Uh, they feel really nice. This is why they convert so many of these. So many people buy these just to convert them for different, you know, like OSW wheels or AccuForce wheels and stuff. Which I uh, may. No, I probably won't. I'm gonna use this for the um, for the DD2. So, but you do have some. Uh, I was thinking I may convert it over for my AccuForce, but now I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna use it for the DD2 because I got my McLaren. I'm uh, transferring over for that one. Uh, but yeah, you do have the adjustments here. Sorry, get my thumbs in the way, or my fingers in the way. Um, adjustments here where you can go in and out to adjust your angle. Now this is far in as it can go, but of course you can uh, push it out some. No, I'm sorry. 
this is as far out as it'll go because it's already pushed against the stops stops there so you could come in uh, more uh, which you know I don't know why you'd want it in any, any more than that so as it, X actually one thing I always uh, disliked I like that you can actually adjust it but I don't ever want it closer to me I always want it further away so so yeah you know what you could flip this though and go the other way with it but then your paddle shifters will be instead of down here it'll be a little bit up higher you'd be catching it with your top finger instead of your middle finger so something to think about uh, it does come with the quick QR uh, quick disconnect uh, which is usually a little hundred dollar item there to do uh, if you got the regular standard one but you know for a will, a will at this price I do expect it to come with that so and it, it's didn't disappoint it did come with that nice gold anodized finishes on here it's, it's got a really nice touch between gold and uh, and the black I like that uh, I know they have a red one that's similar except it's it's linked on the bottom I like this open through design pretty pretty sweet looking so it feels really light in the hands if you're used to the old f1 uh, style wheels this is, is pretty identical you can even see that it's is all one piece here with this construction of this handle coming all the way down as one piece and then the grip is wrapped around it so uh, strength should not be a problem especially once you start using it on direct drive wheels I expect that this is gonna uh, hold up very nicely uh, with this all one piece design so yeah really nice I like it uh, just to give you a couple notes you know this has got 11 buttons 12 way multi position uh, switches and you basically can get up to 67 functions of in-game uh, in-game functions on this uh, wheel which is actually pretty dang awesome man that's a that's a lot of them of course, you know, I already mentioned the eye-catching lights for your rev limiter. These can flash for, like, say, an eye racing when you're getting a, uh, a black flag or yellow flag or something like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What else does it have? It is also it's 5 millimeter. This is actually 5 mil as far as the carbon fiber uh, thickness goes. So solid ca carbon fiber front plate with the golden accents. And I already talked about the Alcantara, genuine Italian Alcantara. Uh, let's see, what else is something I didn't mention? The funky switch, of course, we got that. Oh, this is neat. It actually has two vibrating motors in this one. So for all the Fanatic fans that enjoy the engine vibes and stuff, this uh, has it built into the uh, handles. That's actually really nice. I did not realize that at first. Uh, Size-wise, as far as this LED goes, or this OLED display goes, is a 128 by 64, so not very big. I, I would like it to be uh, at least double that size. But there's probably some you know, complications for room in there. But uh, still, it serves its purpose. You know, you got your little select button here, too, to you know, roll through your menus, uh, that sort of thing. Now, what it's compatible with is compatible with uh, all the club sport v2 v2.5 not the v1s unfortunately uh, but that's just based on the electronics uh, or v1.5s uh, they say it's not compatible with the v1 bases in the v1.5 for electronic reasons uh, so if you have one of those bases uh, look for a different solution uh, of course it will be compatible with the dd1 and dd2 and uh, the podium racing wheel F1 PS4, so that's that's good too. Um, what else? Oh, and it does work with the CSL Elite base and the official PS4 version as well. So yeah, pretty good. This is basically the PS4 PC version, is what this one is. Uh, that red one that came out is more of the Xbox and PC version. So. Uh, where the license is in that. I think they should have just put the license in here for the Xbox, considering that uh, the consoles are already licensed for PS4. So that's, you know, I'm sure it was a cost adder to do that. Um, I, albeit, I, I think probably not much considering the other ones for 349 and it is an Xbox compatible rim that just came out red. So yeah, I think that's a miss uh, on their part. But it is what it is, and I actually have PS4 and PC. I do not have Xbox because I play my uh, Forza stuff on PC. So much, much better that way because I can have motion. 
Okay, like I was saying, I use the, all the Forza series on PC just so I can have motion. Uh, but yeah, camera had stopped, so that's why I re-rolled again. Anyway, um, you know what? In person, this rim looks really amazing. It feels good, very, very light, uh, very similar to, to the old F1 uh, wheel, if you're used to the lightness on that one. The finish, the fit and finish on this is remarkable. Uh, these dials are actually pretty light to spin up either way. Uh, these can be very handy. The ergonomics of it, when you're holding it in your hand, uh, you know, you're pulling your thumb up to spin that one way or another, just perfect. These buttons are just perfect to hit. These are a little bit of a reach, which is fine. Who cares? It's not much. I mean, it's almost, for my hands, it's actually, I can reach all these really well. These are, uh, actually, ergonomically, these are really good, too. These, I have to roll my hands in a little bit to hit the toggles. Not a big deal. You're always going to have to pull a hand off to mess with the rotaries. It's not something you really mess with. Uh, these are usually, I usually set these for, like, uh, you change your... Uh, your position as far as your camera position on the car and stuff so not something you normally would reach on track when you're driving usually I just I roll my hand off it tracks your control up or down same thing with this for ABS uh, and then I like this where I'll be able to set it for like brake bias increase decrease uh, maybe a engine map change or something like that so yeah really good uh, you know you can use this for DRS and curves so yeah <laughs> Pretty awesome, actually. This is actually a really beautiful wheel. Uh, too bad they were limited edition. I'm super stoked that I actually got one myself. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, really pretty. So hopefully they'll come out with some more. But anyway, that was a look at it, guys. Hopefully, uh, let me know how you like yours. Any of y'all that actually got a pre-order on this, uh, let me know how you like it. So more great things to come. All right, I'll check you later. I'm out.